Okay, so... Hello guys, there's probably no one watching at this moment, but... Playing a bit of DZ. The, um, I don't know what the stream quality will be like, because I've had to try and keep it to a minimum, which is probably slightly annoying. Um, as I'm going to upload it probably to the YouTube channel as well. Uh, so we'll, have, we'll just have to see how it goes, to be honest, because um, I've had to keep the quality pretty low. Not only because playing I'll get lag, but because at the same time um, the stream will be very choppy, laggy and all of that, and it won't be very fun to watch. Uh, so this is a brand new character. Um, I've just found this like quite a big area up there, I think there's a warehouse, so I'm going to make my way over there, hopefully without being spotted, uh, because that would be rather annoying, and I'll most likely get killed. Uh, so I'm going to crouch for now, and once I see any movement, I think I'll go into prone, just to keep it safe. Hmm. Okay, so I think approaching quite quickly. So the objectives are, is basically I want to get a gun, food, water, all of that. Unfortunately food's actually very rare, uh, which is slightly annoying. Um, yeah, because if you've seen Total Biscuit on YouTube, he actually did an interview with the modder. And basically, um, what he said is that food has been made very rare. I'm just going to do a bit of third person as I crawl in here. I'll just find it easier so I can look around a bit more, see what's going on in my surroundings. Uh, so to anyone who's watching, just um, put in a comment in the chat if you've got an account to just tell me about the stream quality or something and I'll try to answer them in game if you have any questions as well. I'll answer them. Uh, if you have any suggestions of what I can do to survive I'll be quite happy to hear them as well. So zombie up ahead. Um, I bet it will notice me. I'm very unfortunate with zombies. <laughs> Should I let them pass? I don't know. Because if I'm still, they actually can't see me apparently. So we've got to be... Oh... Minecraft servers now. Have to look at that. Um, it, what, apparently there's been quite a lot of griefing going on on that server, on my server. Um, do you have anything on that? Because apparently a few people have had lava everywhere, I'll have to sort that out. What was that? Let's close the door. What, there's a zombie in there, and there's zombies up there. Oh... <laughs> we are... We are dead. Um... What should I do? I was hoping to find something up there, but I think it's time to leave. Oh. Better get up. Come on, run, run, you fat man. Oh, this is Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead, but the um, this is a mod. So um, this is a mod called DZ, and I got it. You can, if you go to DZmod.com, I think it is. You can download it. It's got an automated installer, which is pretty good. Uh, so it's it's free. The mod is completely free. The game I actually bought directly from the developer because it's only twenty pounds, and it's like twenty five pounds on Steam. I think we've lost them. I'm bleeding. Better take a bandage. Oh well, that that wasn't too successful. How I managed to do that, I don't know. Because there's usually not that many zombies in there. I always go to places like that, and then I'm usually fine. So I don't know. It could turn out that we play multiple characters. Which probably wouldn't be too good. I'm going to go back into first person now. Okay, let's see what's over here. I think this is a proper town now. 
I've lost quite a lot of blood, we're down to 10,000, which is still quite a lot, but oh, we really don't want to be die at this stage. Any zombies? Can't see any, but there's bound to be some. Oh yeah, I do, I do use X-Split, um, because as, I, think, I think it is free, you can buy the proper version, but yeah, this is X-Split. I think I'm going to go prone, go back to third person so I can just look around a bit more. Um, is there anything? No. Again, half the houses in this game aren't intractable. Or enterable is probably a better word. Uh, so most of them you can't actually go in, which is pretty annoying. So a lot of them are pretty useless, but you can tell which ones are enterable because the ones which are have like clear windows because you'll notice if I see look at that house the windows are like blanked out which means I can't enter so what's in that nothing I don't think there's anything there um just watch out for zombies couple down there dark lord was killed I can hear zombies very close by. There's one right there. I'm not sure what's going on because I can hear zombies very, very nearby. I hope I haven't been detected again already. Uh, because if I have, they must have like done some weird update. Because usually I can quite easily prone around here, no problem. There are quite a few zombies. So I think I have to be very careful. one crossing the road there. Actually surrounded. I didn't really want. Problem is if I get up to vault over that fence there, which I would like to do, I'll most definitely be spotted. Just gonna have a quick look around. Uh, hopefully he'll pass in a second that one on the road and I'll be able to quickly sneak past. Problem is, like, I only make one bar of noise or visibility, but I honestly don't know how much you need to attract them, so it could be interesting. Oh no, I think I've got a bit of lag. Probably because of the stream, I hope I don't get disconnected, I know I will. Yeah, that, that shows you the lag, the chicken there's lagged out. Now the problem is, if it stays like this, it'll most likely kick me. Right, I'm going to risk it. Let's get up. Get back down. Okay, so as you can see, I'm a bit of a noob at this game. I do admit that, but um, last night I actually got quite a good streak. I managed to find a shotgun. I got a pistol as well, and I was doing pretty well until I died, but... Um, 
It's just finding a gun. Once you've got a gun, there's no problem at all because you can just shoot any zombies that come near you. Uh, but now, I've got to go back to that stage of finding a gun and food and all that because I haven't been looking at those icons and I think I am actually slightly hungry. There's another zombie crossing the road. The problem is, none of these houses are enterable. There's only like one in each village, and most likely I'll probably turn out that someone's been in that one house. What's that? Now that looks like a gun. But, um, it's, it's glitched out, hasn't it? Um, I think that has glitched out, which is rather annoying because I wouldn't mi wouldn't mind that small package of stuff. Just one is that how vengeful? No, I don't think it is. This can be quite a challenge to find find a house. Okay, what do we have over here? There's a few more houses. I seem to be very unlucky with this game. Don't know why, like, the village I go to typically has nothing in it whatsoever. It has a ton of zombies, but nothing in it. And, um, I usually spawn in the worst places. Now I've got a ton of monkey zombies. I think that's what they're called, I don't know. Some people call them crawlers, I call them monkey zombies because I think they look like monkeys. This is starting to get a bit a bit more tense now because I've got quite a few zombies just going around me. In fact, I don't know if he spotted me, but he seems to be coming right at me. We've got lag again, and there's somebody over there. Okay, I think best thing to do is I'm, I'm going to leave this village. Well, um, is that a server for Minecraft or is that for? For a DZ server because I don't <laughs> I don't actually have the hardware for a DZ server as um I think there's actually if you want to make an official server you've actually got to have like a proper server so which probably which costs thousands of pounds and um you have to actually have like a proper internet connection oh yeah my, Minecraft um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happened to that. Um, I, I, I will make one. I will fix that. Soon, hopefully. I don't know. Probably can't right now. But I will fix that, don't worry. Uh, so, what, what is the status on the Minecraft? Do you want a complete new world? Because I've heard some stuff. Rifleman. Oh no. I presume he's not armed. Now we're going, I think this is back to where I came from. Slightly annoying that there's nothing here. Yeah, I think, I think, um, a new server would be quite a good idea actually because I know quite a lot of damage has taken place now who is this rifleman? is there actually some guy up there? I don't know just heard a zombie
Oh, hello there, suicide six nine nine nine. I had tickets, always a possibility, but would have to make sure everyone had ticket to be able to play. Now, um, I haven't had much luck, so to any of you who have just joined, um, I've had awful luck so far. I've gone to multiple villages, and um, first one I went to, I got mugged by a zombie, which was this one, but I decided to come back and have another go. And the second one, I was even worse, because there were a ton of zombies there and there was nothing there. Oh no, a lot of zombies. I thought going the back way there'd be less, but there seems to be more. I can hear flies, I think that means a dead body. The flies are getting louder. Can't see a dead body. So, I'm not sure. I think this was quite a bad way to come because this seems to be a really long way round. 30 zombies. Yeah, I haven't had that, so maybe they are actually unlucky, but I haven't yet had 30. I best is probably about 10 actually. So that's nothing <laughs> compared to what they had, I suppose. Now, now we're in the open, so a bit more vulnerable. Should I go up there because that looks quite interesting? I swear that zombie wasn't there a second ago. That's what that was. That's what worries me. I'd like to go up there, but it's just that. That zombie is very close. I doubt there's even anything up there which is useful to be honest, but we'll, we'll give it a go, let's... Run? What, what, what's happened? Am I being attacked? Yeah, I know, um, that, that is annoying, because I don't know if that... Oh, I've got to obviously stand up. Yeah, that is annoying because you can go around a whole village and none are enterable. I suppose that's not very realistic that you can't enter them, but I think it's all about making it harder. Uh, just so it's like harder to find things. Now, what is this? I'm going to go in first person for a bit. I don't know why I went up here. There's <laughs> nothing useful. Nothing useful up there at all. Now, I, I think that's where I went and died. That shed might have something to doubt it. I'm slightly worried by the amount of zombies. Okay, so should I try and get into that warehouse or something? What? Okay. How did you find me? Let's run, let's run. Alright, come on, go down the stairs. Don't, don't slow down, don't slow down. Just run, run, run. Go back in third person. It's less scary. <laughs> I can't believe this has happened again. What are you doing? Don't stop running. Oh, there's a survivor over there. Oh, there's only one. Don't worry. Oh, I've been hit. I 
didn't bleed, that's good, because once you start bleeding, I don't have another bandage, I don't think. Can't hear anything behind me. Yeah, now I can. I don't have any gun. I would shoot him. I don't have a gun. That's what I've been trying to find. I've been trying to find a gun for ages with no luck. Yeah, that would be good if I find, <laughs> found one of them, but I can't repair it. If I did have a gun, uh, this would be relatively easy. I could go in a house, shoot them. Look, please stop following me. They're supposed to stop following you, but this guy's obviously not giving up. Right, there is like some sort of farmhouse. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have to be running for a while. Problem is, as I run around here, I'm just gonna pick up more zombies. And I think that's an entryable house. Oh my god. <laughs> They're supposed to stop following you. I said that again. <laughs> Right, I think this is ridiculous, we're just going to have to um, run, because I can't run forever, I'll die. So, let me just run into this house. It's not entrable, is it? No, it's not. I thought that one was, actually. Whoa, I think I'm, I think I'm dead. So <laughs> the survivor there. Hi there, mate. So I have I um, get you killed. Oh, he seems to be coping quite well. Me, I'm just running around aimlessly. Oh, look what we have. We have a house. I think they can get in, that's the only problem I come on getting, I think. Um, so no need to be like that, is there? How did you get in? I think I've broken a bone. I, oh, yeah, I have. I'm dead. Yeah, <laughs> I'm dead. Oh. <laughs> I, well, I don't know what happened there. Because they just ran through both doors without <laughs> opening them, so that was slightly annoying. Uh, so, um, I think to respawn you have to abort and then reconnect or something like that so I'll, I'll have another go if anyone's interested I'll do it we may be luckier this time who knows it's probably going to take a year <laughs> to um, receive the data because of the live stream oh, but yeah so I usually do a bit better but I don't know what happened there um, you used to start with a pistol, you used to have a Makarov, uh, but the modders took that out to make it even harder. And to me, I think by taking that away has made it slightly too hard to be fun. I mean, it's still fun, but you know, they've made it hard enough to the point that's not quite as fun. But anyway, um, what? I'm, I'm already running, I don't know. Oh. I think one of my keys was jammed. Um, this doesn't look too bad, and in fact, I didn't think of it at the time. Uh, but it could be the lag that's making me 
quite an easy target. It's quite possible it could be. Because they may actually be practically right on top of me. So, um, let's just see. So over here, I can't be bothered to prone. I think that is actually enterable. So I'm going to head over there. Prone. Okay. Nice and slowly. Go in third person. The only problem is that any intro building I do go in, there's either nothing useful or um, it's already been taken. I don't know, I just seem to have that kind of effect. I wish you did start with a gun because I am effectively defenseless and it can take a few times before you will actually be successful. Now, I can hear, hear a dead person. Could be in here, actually. Oh, hi there, Kaisemakun. <laughs> I don't know if I said that right. Oh, we have, um, we found something. Uh, we have found ammo. But guess what we haven't found? A gun. We've got a few pellets there, I think. Let's see, we've got 45 ACP. That must be for a revolver. Um, some pellets. Makarov mag. Okay, we've picked them up. I just want a gun. If anything, I just want a gun. So, shotgun shells are nice, but what happens if we find um, somebody who doesn't use shotgun shells? But where is, like, the dead guy then? This is what annoys me, because I hear, I hear, like, dead people. Not, not, not in a weird way, um, but yeah, I hear flies, which suggests there's a dead person about, but I can't honestly see anyone. It's very strong over here. Oh, oh and we have found, oh, actually, there's nothing in here anyway, so maybe we haven't found anything interesting in there. Oh, these cans. Oh yeah, I can probably get those actually. I might, might pick one up. Soda can. There could be something over there, so I'm going to go prone. Um... I don't know about you, but it doesn't look like in any fit state to drive at the moment. But yes, you can drive them if you fix them up. I mean, you can find tyres, um, you can find auto glass as well. But you usually find them um, in quite, quite densely populated areas. Now I'm wondering if there will be anything here. There's like a little um, shack or something over there, so there could be something, probably nothing. See how we do. Yeah, it'd be good if you could, but the um, 
it's really annoying, isn't it? Because you spawn in a random place, so it's, it can be pretty tricky, and you don't get a map, so it is quite annoying. I'm gonna just crouch, it's a bit too slow, and I don't think there's any zombies. Now I've said that, there will be, of course. He must be doing pretty well on it then. Um, <laughs> the best I've actually got to on this game is a Winchester 1866. And actually, I do I do like, because I did find an M16 once, but then uh, someone shot me in the back of the head. So that kind of ruins that. Yeah, I think you can get a map. You don't start with one if I'm right, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you do have to find it. Now, I don't think that building up ahead's entrable. No, it doesn't look as that is. Yeah, I did actually find one place where it had, like, fuel, like, tyres and all of that, but, um, I think that was in the city. I found that and I kind of got owned pretty badly. Now, what's worrying me is I haven't seen a single zombie yet. Which is obviously good, but then at the same time it's slightly worrying. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll... I'll I would love a helicopter at the moment. Could just gun them all down. Now, I've got a decision here. Should I go down here or up here? I don't have a clue which way is better. No, yeah, <laughs> that is annoying. That is, like, you need ammo for helicopters as well. I think I'm going to go down here. Yeah, I think you can actually get maps online, I think. I've seen a few people talk about that. So yeah, I do definitely recommend you do get DC because it is really fun. Oh, there's a village. There's a village up ahead. I think I'm going to just follow this road. I think it's worse that I can't see any zombies. Oh, what is that? Is that is that city up there? I'm going to go back. Oh no, crouch. Yeah, very near the sea. Just just on there, about 30 meters away. Now I can see a city. Just over there. There are actually zombies here, so I'm going to move prone. Oh, am I near an airfield? That's even better. Oh, in fact, it does look airfield-ish. I think this is a village, so I'm going to have a quick look around and hopefully we won't have a repeat of last time where I got completely owned by zombies. The only problem is I'm trying to be careful, but I'm not doing very well. Yeah, airfields have, I think, I've, I haven't been to an airfield before, but I went to like a prison or something and you had like EKs. I think there was a saw there as well. Well, that, I, I don't understand Russian. So that, that sign doesn't make any sense to me. Um, what's up here? Yeah, so any people who do have Daisy, um, don't hesitate to play with me. You can if you want to, if you can find me, that is, because... I'm very sneaky. I'm not really, <laughs> not very sneaky on this game. 
I'm pretty rubbish. In all honesty. Now that city does look interesting, but do I want to go in there? I think I do, otherwise I'm going to die. So this is another village, I think, without an integral building. Yeah, I, I think you should get it, because I didn't actually buy it for the armor too. Which was quite funny cause, because technically I spent £20 just to play this mod. I mean, the actual Armour 2... Um, it's okay, the actual Armour 2 game, but I'm not too into the actual Armour side of things. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit of a shame. Yeah, if I... I, <laughs> I suppose that is true, I don't care if I have a stick. As long as I've got some sort of weapon to hit them with. Um, I don't, I'm not too bothered. Yeah, it's, un it's unlimited at the moment, but next thing you know, new update, melee weapons break, or something like that, just to make it even harder. Hey, I'm, I'm not sure is this house useful? No, I think that's just the wooden house. Shack. Oh, um, is this an axe? To be fair, you used to get water. And, oh, I can't even use that, that's really annoying. I think the only ones you can use are the red ones, like the fire axes, that's what I call them, I don't know if they are fire axes. But um, I've only actually been able to pick them up before, so I don't know. It's got to be kidding me that there is not a single entrable house on this vi in this village. That's got to be a joke. Yeah, I've been I've I've been looking at like the windows because that indicates whether they're entrable, and I haven't seen a single one, which surprises me because usually there is one, and if I could, I would just run around and look for one. But there's a couple of zombies down here. This is very frustrating. <laughs> Not entrable, not entrable. Yeah, I will, I'll, I'll have a quick look. Oh, if I can't go to any of these houses, should I just go to the city, <laughs> run to the city? Yeah, but I, I don't think these houses are entrable. Oh my, would you look at that? We have got a dead player and zombies. Oh my. Please don't kill me again. He's, he's going to be coming up here, isn't he? No, he's not. To be honest, I probably should run for my life, but... Um... I can't. We've got to survive. I probably will get killed. I think the coast is clear. No zombies coming towards me quickly. Run. Yeah. And he's empty. So that must mean someone's been here before me. Has he been killed? What does that mean? Oh, that's that. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing on him. He was pretty useless, actually. So, that must mean he was shot, as he would have something. So, 
It's even more worrying. Yeah, it's like me alone on a little island looking for food. But he obviously <laughs> failed. And I'm probably going to fail. I'm, I'm actually going to target that down there, whatever that is, because it's probably less populated than that. Those of me nearby, let's just crouch. It's a bit faster. Um, no, I don't have a friend at the moment that plays it. Um, there was one who was going to buy it, but then they've decided they're going to save up for Guild Wars 2. So that, <laughs> I was slightly disappointed because it is very fun. Now, I'm not going to go straight to the city. We'll see what's down at the port, whatever you want to call it. And, um, there's, there's got to be something in there. I just think there should be. There's not something in here. I must be doing something wrong. Because, honestly, I'm starting to get frustrated for this. Now, there's going to be a ridiculous amount of zombies down here. Up here, anyway. So, um... Be, I have to be very cautious. That's why I've decided I'll go down here first. Rather than hit the city. The city's going to be the last resort, if anything. So if anything, I'm going to leave the city until last. If we don't find anything down here, we're going to have to hit the city. But there's, there's quite a big city, so it's quite likely there's going to be players in there as well. Probably armed players as well. Uh, which isn't good, because... Although, having said that, many people I've seen playing with guns won't shoot me if I'm unarmed. Uh, but I can tell you what did happen the other day. Uh, so there was one guy in this house, I was being chased by zombies, he shot them for me. And um, I thought, oh, well, that's quite good. Then I ran outside, ran into a restaurant, found a revolver, took it back in um, to where he was, and he shot me in the head since I was armed. So as soon as you're afraid to players, they usually think, oh, I can't, can't take the risk. Well, we've got we've got a warehouse. I know that's enjoyable, but uh, generally they're filled with zombies. A zombie just died. <laughs> oh my. Um. Okay. There's, there's a player down there. Down here, I'm sure of it. And most likely they've just been <laughs> in the warehouse. So we're going to have to be very careful. Making a bit of noise crossing this road. So slow though. Why have I suddenly got up? Don't know why I got up then randomly. I think I must have gone on the over a bump. That obviously didn't like that. Okay, we've got to be really careful. We're near zombies. We do not want to walk into one. I hate it when you can hear them. <laughs> because it... I don't know if it personally does it, but it gives you the impression they're right behind you. So you're constantly looking around. And also my water is going slightly orange. Need a bottle of coke. No. I can't, unfortunately. Oh, this guy, um, doesn't have anything. I did see him die, so I'm slightly worried. Uh, there's a guy around here. It's 
be fair though, how much damage you need to do. Oh no, it's not this one again. I've been here before. You can't go up the stairs because there's a tree. And it's really dumb. Smoke grenade? I don't want a smoke grenade. I couldn't make care less about a smoke grenade. Why do you always find the stuff which, okay, is is cool, but who needs it? A smoke grenade is absolutely useless to me. I don't think they do anything. It, it may be useful for like player combat. I don't know. Probably is good for that. Oh, please don't tell me one to chase me. Now there is a shack there. I don't know if it's entrable, but we're going to check it out. Oh no, I, I did actually go up. Um, I have been there before and I couldn't go past the tree. The tree blocks you. Because I have been here before. I remember this city on another character. And I don't know how to jump. And you can't vault over it, so... Not quite sure. Now, if we don't die from zombies, we're going to die from dehydration. Got a small shack, got a shack over there. I don't think there's any zombie. There are any zombies down there, so we could be safe to go down there. Oh, and um, it is. I guess who's in there? A zombie. I, I'm <laughs> I must be cursed. Come on. There's never zombies in buildings. And there's one in there. You've got to be kidding me. How do you... Can you drink directly from the sea? I didn't know you could. <laughs> I'm really annoyed now because I bet there's a gun just sitting there. Just sitting there waiting for me to pick it up. It's waiting for me and I can't get it. And there's another shack down there which we can have a go at. We can always come back to that one and wait and see what the situation is. Uh, but there's, there's bound to be a gun in either that building or this one. Well, there usually is, so I'm going to check it out. No, luckily, I think things after me. No, oh, okay. I didn't know you could drink from the sea because when I found a water bottle it didn't let me fill it up from the sea so they've also made that even harder which is slightly worrying Oh, 
Now the wheel in there. This is just ridiculous. I'm bleeding. But I don't understand why I haven't found anything because I should have found something ages ago to be honest. Yeah, I think we're gonna <laughs> die again. The annoying thing is, is that I don't know where they're coming from. Is this, is this an update? Because if you know anything about this, uh, please say, because I've never had this problem with somebody who's attacking me when I'm prone. Like, never. I've played it a few times, never had the problem. And suddenly... I have... Here's a clever zombie. To run behind the pole. You're actually kidding me, he can crawl under poles. Wait, what are we going to do? <laughs> I've honestly never had this problem, so either I haven't seen the zombies and they sneak up on me, or it's like I don't know, it's like glitchy or something. We lost those zombies, but my screen's starting to go a bit darker because I've lost quite a bit of blood. Now the city, there's going to be stuff in here, but it's just getting to it because if I can't manage a simple village, getting into a city is going to be impossible. And I don't understand why I'm aggroing so many. It's, it's annoying me. There's a zombie gone for a swim. There's a few zombies that have gone for a swim. Okay, this is going to be interesting. But the city's our last resort, and I'm going for it because even though I did get killed from going into that shack, I, I think all there was was ammo. So it's nothing. It's nothing important. Oh, um, is in. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too confident about this game. If I'm to be fair, or are you talking about commentary or something like that? Okay, nothing. Yeah, so I'm not confident about the game at all. As I've been playing for a while, this is my second character, still so haven't found a gun or anything. So I'm just kind of wondering what to do. Don't stand up again, no stupid idiot. Is that, is that a house? <laughs> I don't think there's much, I think we're kind of in the, what do you call it, docking area? Like where you've got all the shipping containers. So nothing great down here. A ton of junk. Well, I can't prune forever. Okay, let's prune again. Don't know if that's a door, if that's actually open. So I'm gonna give it a go. 
probably a door. No, I think that is open, so give it a go, see if we can get in there. To be fair, we're not doing bad surviving because we've actually survived quite a while, but we haven't actually found anything. And my water is quite a nice orange. Oh my god, there's nothing in these places. Can I hear another dead player? Chem light, pretty useful. G17 mag, that is a nice weapon, but where's the gun? Where is the gun? Another badge. Oh, we have got... We've been saved! Must be God, I don't know, but someone sent me a Pepsi can. Don't, we can't actually open that one. It's a bit, bit dodgy. Don't think there's anything down there? No. But how weird is that? We suddenly find a Pepsi can. There's another another house down here. I don't think there is actually anything. Oh, what we've got? We've got auto glass. Do not worry. We've got auto glass. We are saved. There you go. Bit nice bit of auto glass down there. If we find a car. So there's obviously quite a lot of small houses. Oh, but there's like still no gun. But there's going to be a big gun in the city, isn't there? Somewhere at least there's got to be a gun. The only thing I'm worried about now is that um, we're going to get killed. I suppose we have found a drink, so that was, that was nice, but we need a gun. I've got about a hundred different types of ammunition, but it's completely useless unless we have a gun to use it. Um, now this isn't a good idea, we're just on the kind of suburbs of the city, so this is going to start to get pretty heavy on the zombie front. Uh, so once we're in the streets, we're pretty much dead if a zombie finds me. And uh, how do you actually gain blood? I don't know because I think it's technically health, but I've heard something you can get blood bags. But I presume they're pretty rare. So I think once you run out of blood, you're dead. Although I think, actually, I think food helps because I had beans, I think. And it like, like helped me. At least we've got enough bandage just in case, but if I just had a weapon. Again, I do not want some slugs. All I want is a shotgun. Two round slugs, not bad. <laughs> Another bandage, always helpful, M1911 mag. Still bolt, it's for crossbow. Um, what, which, which tall building? What, is that like a building down here? The only thing I'm worried about is if I don't get killed by zombies, I'm going to get killed by a person. But, I think we'll go up this little alley. There's now bells ringing. Is that like the hotel?
Okay, so... I'm going to go around here quickly, see if there's anything. Now, I probably shouldn't be scared because there's no zombies, but um, that's the scary thing, there are no zombies. And that worries me very much. Wait a minute, wait a minute, is that clear glass? I think we have clear glass. Yes, we do. Now, if, if this house doesn't have a gun, I, I just don't know what to say, because that is a house, and it should have a gun in. It's a relatively big house, we're in the city, there's got to be a gun in it. The only worrying thing is, is, is there, are there going to be zombies? I can hear zombies. May just be me. Oh my. Oh, this is. This is absolutely wonderful. Look at that. We've got a double barrel. Why have I dropped all that exactly? Why have I dropped it? Um, pick that back up. <laughs> Although all of these magazines are useless, um, we could could find something. There we go, we've got a nice shotgun, double barrel. I think we've got morphine. Oh, EpiPen. Could, could be useful. Um, enough bandage. Never have enough bandages. Road flare. Again, could be useful. <laughs> I'm just picking up everything, to be honest. Um, the windscreen glass, I think I'll leave, because I have to I have to drop all of that to want to pick up the windscreen glass, and I don't want to drop all of that. Let's walk slowly. Few more chem lights, CZ. Um, another slug. To be fair, we don't need the CZ magazine anyway, do we? So I think I'll drop that. Cause if it's useless, I don't want it. Now my worry is, is that there's going to be a zombie in here. More EpiPens. Not too bothered about them. In fact, I may load up the pellets because I think they're slightly less useful. We can waste these. More pellets. Both drop the slugs. Okay, so maybe time to open up the bag. Put that in there. Take them. Take the slugs. Yeah. Oh, what? I've dropped the Pepsi. Okay. Gonna have to sort this out. So, open this up. Let's put the Pepsi in there. And um, my Steam username is Chub926. You can add me if you want to. I'll try and accept it as soon as possible. There's a ton of stuff in here. Mostly um road flares. And I'm not I'm not too bothered about them. I've got one already. So it's pretty useless. Now the big killer in this game is food because food is incredibly hard to come by. Is this a restaurant? I think it is. Is there anything interesting? I think I've got a bit of an FPS drop there. Um, I 
I don't actually want the Kim Light, to be honest. I actually want the slugs. I only really want those slugs there, but apparently... Oh, they're there each round. Just gonna be back in a second. <laughs> I'm gonna be AFK on this game, so that's not too good. But I'll be back in a second. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that, luckily I didn't get killed, because that would be bad. should never go AFK on this game, I'll just warn you of that. Never go AFK, it's the biggest mistake you can make. What I am worried about is the lack of zombies. I'm going to load in my slugs. Oh, that, if you haven't got any games, that could be why, because it doesn't let you, Steam don't let you add friends unless you've got, um, unless you've had a paid for game. Which is annoying. Okay, let's go back to prune. I'm just going to use, I usually use third person because I usually find the first person prone um can i don't know <laughs> it's probably just me but um some of those get like it's a bit motiony i um i may be able to add you but i think they've you've got to have both game it's a, it's a bit dodgy i don't know why they do that that's a zombie First zombie I've seen in the city. What's that? I really don't want to die now. Oh, okay. I'll What's your name on Steam? Okay, I'll, I'll see if I can add you. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm not playing this on Steam. So I'll add you afterwards. I think we managed to pass that one zombie. This building in Tremor looks quite interesting. Got multiple zombies. Watch out for them. Okay, so I'm going to try and get into that building there. What's that? Um, oh my goodness, there's a... Dead guy, dead guy. Wait a sec, he's not a player. I think this must be the army. Please don't make him step over there. I 
don't think there's anything in here. Oh, there's a there's a bag. Is there anything? No, I don't think that's too good. Yeah, I'm playing by myself. You can join me if you want to. Let me sort this, this out. See if I can pack some stuff away. Got a heat pack just in case we get cold. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty new, so I've just managed to pick up a shotgun after a lot of playing. I think that's all we're going to find in here, actually. Unless there's anything over here. Or behind here. No. Yeah, that'd be good. So it is actually quite scary playing on your own. <laughs> Got to cross over this barbed wire. Just realised my food is going down. I wasn't looking at my food, but obviously should have been. Now I think really you should be able to loot these army guys because they would have a gun, wouldn't they? So don't know. I do, I do need a blood pack. So my blood is very low, just under 8,000. Is that the only way you can get blood back? Blood bank, you need to read a blood bank. That, that's on fire. See what's going on over here. Don't know is that in fact I want to get out of this city. It's a bit a bit too scary for me. Got another inch wall house that to be honest has probably the same one. of entry buildings in the city. Oh, um, barbed wire. Let's enter this way. Now this must be another one actually. Because it's got barbed wire in. Oh, oh. Should I pick this up? I don't know if this is a good gun. I think it is quite good. But I'm not quite sure. I think the stream's frozen. Oh. Hmm. 
don't know what happened. I think I don't know if that's just me. Um, but I don't. Is this better? This the Enfield, and I think we've actually got an M1911. Actually, no, that's that's just Macrod, isn't it? There's nothing interesting about that gun. Not sure what's happened to Twitch, is that just me? I'm just going to check actually. Um, I think it's back up, so we'll see. Don't know what happened then. Oh, finally. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, it must have just been me. I think my internet just went a bit weird. Um, but do you think, do you think that's a good trade? I'm not sure, is the um, double barrel better or worse, because I did have a lot of ammo for that. So I don't know if I should have taken this Lee Enfield, because I think this is probably better. But I'm not sure. Oh uh, yeah, okay, I think I'll, I think I'll stick with this one. The problem is I quite like shotguns and zombie games. And to be honest, I don't have a ton of ammo for this. I've only got two rounds. Right, this this looks like quite a nice gun. It's only a ton of zombies. thing to do is run. I don't know where the end of the city is, so... Probably running. Somewhere completely stupid. I think we've lost them. I was slightly annoyed that I randomly got up and <laughs> went over that bump. Starting to get a bit darker, I think, so... Starting to get a bit scary. Now, I think there's a little house over there. Might be worth checking out.
No, I think that's one in trouble. Now I think I'm going to start to make my way out of here. My worry is, is that I can't find food. <laughs> I'm going to be really annoyed if I die from lack of food. Small village kind of on the outside so there could be a bit of food, I don't know. Seems to be incredibly rare. Just checking around. I'm much better with shotguns, so probably should have done, but then this gun is probably a better all-rounder because it's got good range, it's pretty powerful and again if like an enemy player tries to attack me with the shotgun, if he's quite far away I'm dead uh, so I suppose with this, if there's an enemy put out there, just shoot him a couple of times, get his stuff is that a petrol station? seems to be quite a few zombies hanging around that so probably want to avoid that because you don't really want to have to shoot them probably sounds weird but you kind of want to avoid shooting them Probably see if I can crouch around here. Now I think I'm going to avoid that because there's probably not much over there. I think you probably can fill up at gas stations if you have a vehicle, but I think I'm going to avoid it because there's not going to be anything great in there. There is food. Okay, see you, Warwick's Club. Yep, I, I may have stopped streaming by then because I'm planning to come off. Probably rather soon, and I'll probably upload some of it to YouTube. Anyway, I don't know what we'll find here. So I think usually in these houses, I've only ever found Makarovs. Can't seem to get through the door. Come on. Got an Alice pack. Nothing in, but that must have fallen off somebody. That's that's a bit glitchy. Grass has come through the house. 
Um, but it looks like someone's already been and gone, so probably better leave. I think I'll continue my journey because there's some few houses down here as well, just over the bridge. And that I think is a warehouse which always has stuff and I don't think it ever has food in. stuff and barn. What just happened? I think he just fell off the roof or something. So I'm gonna go prone. Let's avoid that Russian zombie with the weird hat and I don't know what they're called. Those hats. Oh yeah, this isn't a warehouse, I think it's more like a factory. There's usually weapons in here, but I don't want weapons. I mean, if there's a bit of ammo, fine, but I want food. Beet beans, pasta, don't care what it is. I mean, you eat what you, what you find, don't you? I mean, a zombie apocalypse, you don't care what it is. And what do we find? An empty whiskey bottle, a steel bolt, and some empty cans. Do I want any of them? No. Are they useful? No. <laughs> Now I don't know if I got away with that, I was a, being a bit too loud, so that zombie obviously heard me. Um, but there can't be any nearby, otherwise they probably would have done something. Does he have anything of use? No, he wouldn't, would he? Just to be annoying. Okay, any old oh, is that yeah, that's another house. I don't want to shoot him until I'm a little bit closer. Why is that screen music suddenly come on? 
think, yeah, we've got away with that one as well. Or he doesn't have anything. Oh, um, and a steel bolt. Nothing useful. Climb over that. Now I think it may be time to go prone because there's quite a few wandering about. There's one over there, one down there, one down there. And I don't want to go wrong. In fact, this is a farmer's barn. And sometimes there is food in these. Which means you probably got just the same amount of chance to get food in these as any other building. have to be so annoying, it's like, you suddenly change direction. We get into the barn, get into the barn, get into the barn. Find me. There's more out there, and they're waiting to get me, so... It's a question of what do we do now? There's a lot more than I actually saw out there, so... get them but I'm very <laughs> low on ammo. Was where are they? I just killed them. Yeah what am I being killed by guys? <laughs> Which is very annoying. Well, there's an axe. There is an axe. Yeah, these guys don't actually have these things, so... It's not, they're not very useful. That axe will be useful though. Okay, so... Ok, 
Again, nothing. Anything behind here? No. I am starting to get a bit worried now. Yeah, hopefully I can use the axe, uh, but I'm actually not far off dying from food. So, if there's no food up here, we are, we are technically dead. Pretty much, just some empty cans. Uh, anything up there? Another axe. Hmm. Um, I think at the level of food we're at, we're not actually going to have a chance to find any. Which is, which is annoying. We've got a jerry can there. Um, pretty much useless to us at the moment. Uh, but yeah, that, that is annoying, because... I can't... Oh! I do have food. Now, when did I pick that up? Tin of sardines. The only annoying thing is now my blood is actually very slow. Low, <laughs> no, not slow, I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it is pretty low now. Now, how do I actually use this axe? It doesn't seem to let me. Why can't I use the axe? What? I've got no ammo. <laughs> I've got no ammo. You've got to be kidding me. Time to run. That was my last shot <laughs> into that zombie. Uh, so we've got the end field, no bullets. But we did find those sardines, so it wasn't all bad. Back up to sardines, sardine health, food, hunger, hunger's fine. Um, blood is running low. So it'll be interesting to see what we make of this, because... It's going to be hard to invade anywhere now, because once you've got no ammo, you, you have to literally go back to what you did, square one. Basically, you have to go in and not get caught, so you literally can't risk uh, getting seen. <laughs> oh, I should have done. I should, I should have really had that, because it had so much more ammo. Uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not going back to that city with no ammo. Don't think it's a good idea. But I quite like this Lee Enfield. It's, it's, a, it's a good gun. With ammo, of course. Without ammo, it's just a, just the piece of wood. And so, yeah, we're going, going back to square one. We've got to find everything. Find a house. Rob everything in there. So... I do actually have a can of Pepsi, so if we do get desperate, we can use that, because I can see that's going down. Luckily, food lasts quite long. Your hunger bar, it it takes a few hours until it goes down, or something like that. A couple of hours before it gets to red. It's not too bad, although sprinting probably has a bearing on that. Now what we would need right now is just a dead body on the floor and I could simply go over there and think, oh we've got we've got five clips of um Lee Enfield mags. And <laughs> that would be amazing, wouldn't it? But unfortunately. Oh that's a zombie. Now we're actually back to where I started because just over there we've got the city. Um, that's that little house which had nothing particularly useful in. In fact, you can't, couldn't go in it anyway, so yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, so there, there may be a bit of stuff, but I'm not going to risk bothering with that. Got a small village over there that could have something. Oh, he's, he's a bit close. Yeah, so I'll do a bit of scouting around and I think I may may finish the stream because <laughs> I've been streaming for a few hours now. And um, yeah, I will probably be doing more streams for my YouTube channel, which is Pub Fox Gaming. And um, hopefully I'll be able to upload this to YouTube. I don't know if it'll let me because it may be too long or something. We'll have to see. Because I think I tried doing episodes of Daisy and it did not work because... Basically, um, if you're watching from the beginning, you'll know how long it took me to get a gun. It took an hour to find a gun, and if I'm just going to have, like, five episodes of looking for a gun, of 15 minutes each, and no one is going to want to watch it, because it will just be ridiculously boring. Uh, so yeah, I think what I will do is um, probably stream this game for now, because I think it's, it's a bit more popular streamed then uploaded to YouTube because it's not the kind of game you can play for 10 minutes and um, it's more of a game you have to play for a few hours to actually achieve anything otherwise you're just um, going around hopelessly looking for nothing um, now all this does look familiar as well because I think I did go in that warehouse and I got quite badly <laughs> quite badly hit so may actually have to go there anyway, but we've got this village again, I don't know which one's entrable. So we'll just have to look around a bit. What where? Oh, we've got another warehouse. Might take a look inside there. Yeah, it is, it is pretty realistic. No zombies. I think we're clear. I've been here before. Not not on this not on this guy, but there's a, actually a pool of water down here. Which is quite nice if you've got a water bottle, but I don't have a water bottle. may go prune in a second just in fact I have been here in that house just down there I think I did find some of the Enfield mags once but who knows it could have been looted and I think it's completely random spawn so there could be anything going to go back into third person Now, if I remember, when I did go in here once, I think a zombie had, like, randomly spawned and attacked me. And if there's no ammo in here, <laughs> we really don't want that to happen, so... Have to be cautious. But I am slightly concerned about the lack of zombies. That slightly worries me. Going to crouch now. Oh, there is enough bandage. Might as well take it. And one nine one one mag. Not too bothered about. I think that's another one. Um, should I take the shotgun? I think I should take that. I'll just wait for confirmation from everyone. Uh, so this is... 
probably better, but then it's pretty much useless if I don't have ammo for it, so might as well take it. <laughs> I've got another gun again. But you know what will happen? I'll use all this ammo, and then we'll get somewhere, and it'll be like... And it'll be the Enfield mags there, and I'll be like, oh, um, okay, that's <laughs> slightly annoying. I know that will happen, because that's how it works with me. I can bet you anything <laughs> that will happen. We'll go somewhere, I'll run out of this ammo, and then be like, I should have kept that Lee Enfield. <laughs> but that's how it works in this game. You, it's all about decision making. Making. <laughs> if you make the wrong decision, you pay the consequences. And if you make the right one, you obviously advance through the game. <laughs> yeah, I certainly am on a downhill struggle. I mean, to be honest, the whole game is a downhill struggle because you're not going to. Basically, you're not going to survive, are you? You're going to, like, your guy's going to die at some point. And I don't get that because you've got guys who are, like, survived for 80 plus hours. You're thinking, well, they must have t tanks or something, helicopters, and you think, well, how did they die? And I'm kind of thinking, I doubt it's from zombies at that stage. Got another coke. That'll be that's nice. We've got a slug. That's good. Heat pack. I'll take that. Actually, no epipen. Um, yeah, we've already got one, he two heat packs. So, um, do you want that Pepsi? Don't drop that. <laughs> Okay, drop that, don't need it. Drop that, don't need it. Um, pick up slug. And the heat pack, if we can, we might as well pick it up. We've got room. I can hear zombies. How many, how many slugs do we have? I can't see. <laughs> now I wish I'd kept all that ammo. And here's some zombies. Oh, I haven't been in that farmer's shed yet. I think this server must be pretty busy now, because if you see the amount of zombies, it's like almost 500, so... Must have quite a lot of people on here. And I'm just going to hope there's not going to be some guy who's going to come along <laughs> with a mecha off and like, shoot me in the head whilst I'm prone. But what I say to people who do that is, I say, I hope the zombies kill you. They shot me in the head. It's like... May you die. Because... Um... You deserve it. I hope the zombies here. Oh my god. Has someone killed this guy? Weird thing is, is that... There's a... The Enfield in his hand, but... He hasn't got anything on him. So I don't know what that's all about. Um, I don't know, maybe someone's already taken it, it's just glitched up. This is scary because I don't think he got killed by zombies. I'm thinking much worse. Thinking of player. Considering that the barn is empty, I'm also thinking that that guy there probably found this Lee Enfield up here, which is also quite likely. Oh, no, 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 no. We have got some supplies yet. But to be fair, me may have just not taken these because... 
well, pellets. Um, in fact, I'm going to drink the coke anyway, so I might as well drink that. I'll pick up pellets. Bandage. You can never have enough bandages. Get more bandages. Um, got another FPS drop. It's really annoying. I hate the FPS drops in this game. It must just be me, but it's incredibly annoying. Um, basically just trash up that end. Is there anything the other end? I think there are a few bits and pieces. I'm just going to zoom in with my gun because you go slower. No problem, it's now I'm zoomed in. Some guy could just come right behind me kill me. So that poor soul down there has a nice Lee Enfield rifle. Um, I don't think he actually has it on him though. Oh, that, that's, just, that's just garbage. Road flares, not too bothered about. Um, oh, this is nice. Got a ton of ammo. I think that's the infield actually, it could be CZ, no, it's CZ550. Don't worry. Um, M1911, we've got some of them, don't need them. Um, okay, so we've got... What this to pack away. <laughs> we have got um quite a lot of drinks now, Coke, so we're surviving on Coke. Probably not the not probably not the best diet. Um I may just take them for the sake of it, probably absolutely useless. And again, may as well take that. Um yeah, so just a bit of ran <laughs> random talk here. Um the M one nine one one, I haven't actually ever found one, but it's my favourite gun. I'm just in anything. I don't know why I just like it because it's it's got a massive caliber for a pistol, and it does probably just amount of, just the same amount of damage to a zombie. Got an axe. Got another axe. Not too bothered bothered about them because I've already got an axe though. Nothing particularly useful, and as I'm going to plan on leaving this now, zombie or no zombies, I'm just going to run. Now, um... Okay, I killed him, but he hit me, and now I'm shaking. Uh, so we've obviously experienced quite a bit of blood loss, which I'm quite concerned about. Problem is, these slugs last for no time at all, do they? Because you've got two shots and you have to reload. So put in some pellets. Yeah, well, there you go. Go. Um, now it's quite likely in the next stream I do. Uh, we may start again because now I'm shaking. Oh no, no problem. Well, yeah, I'm talking about the football. How's it? How's it going on that front? Because I haven't watched that, so I'd be quite happy for an update on that if you can. Okay, I better take some of them. Oh, that stopped it. Problem is, I am low on blood. Oh, okay, no, no. Now, what should I do? I've practically got only half my blood left. Um, if every place I go and I get compromised by zombies, I'm going to eventually die. It's just the 
kind of vicious circle, isn't it? So, I don't know what to do on that front, so I may run up here just to get away from any populated areas. And we're going to have to plan what we can do, because I can already see the food starting to go a bit orange. Um, so, <laughs> already in trouble. Now, how do you actually use these smoke grenades? Because I just want to see what one does, but I probably shouldn't waste them. Having said that, I don't know what they're useful for, so... Who knows? Okay, there's quite a few zombies down there. I may start to make my way over there, because there's always a couple of supplies in there. And then I think that will probably be about it for the stream, as I've, I've been playing for quite a while now, and I don't think we're going to get much further than this, if I'm to be honest, because it's just going to be more of um, getting killed, because eventually it's inevitable I'm going to die. Unless I find blood bags, unless I find a constant supply of food, we are most likely going to die, which is, which is a shame. I don't want to die doing quite well. Having said that, I'm not doing anywhere near as well as some of the others. So I know a lot of you watching are probably a lot better than me. You've probably got cars, helicopters, all of that. Um, and I've just got my little double barrel shotgun, a few Pepsi cans, and um, a few bandages, basically. Anyway, we're going to head back over to that little place. And it's probably not a bad time to go off because this is a 24 hour night and day cycle so at the end of the day I want to be off before it gets dark. And um, I think it may actually be seasonal as well because here in the UK it's still light outside and it actually, if you look outside and look at the game, there's not much difference. I don't know how they've done that. I don't know if this is the... If this is an English server. Yeah, it is, it is all about surviving at the end of the day. I mean, if there was to be a zombie apocalypse... <laughs> I don't want to scare you guys because obviously there won't be. Um, but yeah, you're, you're not going to be 100% secure ever, are you? You're always going to be looking behind you, thinking, is there a zombie behind me? You're going to be thinking, oh my, I'm, pr I'm pretty hungry, I'm pretty thirsty. And you can't stay anywhere. Um, which is the other thing, because... Um, you just can't because players will get you, um, you always need food, and that's the main thing. <laughs> what annoys me is that I really, really don't want to be killed from starvation. That is just going to really annoy me. I mean, it's going to be start flashing red and I'll be like, they'll say in the corner, T, I died, and I'll be like, oh my god. Oh, I think... What's that, a zombie? I'm sure I just saw a small glimpse of a zombie. Usually there aren't many around here, but... Oh, there are, there are, okay. I mean, I think I'm just going to go in and shoot that one. Actually, no, he, he is pretty far away from where I'm going. The problem is I'm so slow at shooting them really annoys me because by the time I've shot them they've already got a couple of hits me and I start bleeding I'm thinking oh now there is sometimes a bit of junk down here the problem with prone is that if they do find you you are effectively dead because if they come up behind you you can't turn around quickly so I think from from this point of view, going into a place like this, I think I'm just going to go in. If one gets me, I can hopefully turn around quickly, shoot him.